Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the version 24H2 on the main release. This is the update that a lot of us waited for because it is an update that brings a few new features for Windows 11 24H2 and also fixes quite a lot of the known issues that I've showed you in a previous video that I've done on the channel. So if you want to learn all about the latest Windows 11 24H2 update, you can watch this video. And of course, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. This video is sponsored by 4DDAG Data Recovery. 4DDAG Data Recovery is a data recovery software that can help you recover your lost, deleted, formatted, or corrupt drive files completely and easily. A possible cause of data loss can also be Windows updates in case of failure to install updates or corrupted update files. To recover lost data, simply select the location of the lost data, then select the type of file you want to recover, and just press the Scan Selected File Types button. Files that that can be recovered will start loading and you can sort them using filters. To recover a specific file, just select it, click on recover, select the location where you want the file to be saved and then click on save now. Start using 4DDAG data recovery today in the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, the build that we're talking about today is the build 26100.2161 or build code KB5044384. So let's begin talking about the new features, and new things that we can encounter in this build. First of all, Microsoft is also adding the possibility of turning off the suggestions for certain notifications and you can customize that from settings system and then notifications and if you had certain notifications like that you can see here notification suggestions also if you go to network and internet and then on your Wi-Fi connection you're gonna notice that we have a new Wi-Fi password dialog that matches the Windows 11 design principles and also the Windows 11 color scheme related to narrator Microsoft adds a new narrator shortcut you can press the narrator key plus control plus X to copy what narrator last spoke to the clipboard this shortcut is useful when you want to quickly copy some content like codes or numbers for use and also it will now auto read the contents of an email message in the new Outlook. This is like the behavior in Outlook Classic. Microsoft is also introducing a new layout for the on-screen keyboard which is called the Gamepad Keyboard Layout and you can use your Xbox control with it to move around the screen and type. Button accelerators are also available. These include the X button for backspace and the Y button for the spacebar. For better movement patterns, the keyboard keys are aligned vertically. Also in the start menu, the OLAP section is now just all and Microsoft fixed the issue that we had with all plus tab where the screen went black on some PCs for a few seconds when you switch between certain windows. Also Microsoft fixed an issue where windows wouldn't detect certain scanners although they were connected. The features that I mentioned so far are features that are slowly or gradually rolling out so you may not see them right away but now let's talk about a few things that are part of the normal rollout. For example Microsoft fixed an issue where you couldn't sign into your account from the web because the screen stops responding. They're also adding the ability to customize your copilot key if you have a copilot plus pc you can do that from settings personalization and then text input you're going to have here below customize copilot key on keyboard you can select search or a custom app of your choice also one thing that i really like about this update is that microsoft fixed an issue that was quite pressing it wasn't a big issue but this is related to the lead up recommendations so this update addresses some of the causes for the wrong free space estimates and improves its accuracy so whenever you were going to clean up recommendations and then see advanced options you would notice a lot of large space for the windows update cleanup space right now when you remove the files everything will be removed so this is good that they fixed it let's now talk about other improvements for example in settings system storage and then disks and volumes microsoft adds an option to detach your vhd and also related to networking if you use the net sh wlan show networks command it can now read ssids that are encoded using utf8 we also have a few updates for the windows sandbox in this build because now Windows Sandbox, as you know, is a client app. So this will now include runtime clipboard redirection, audio and video input control, the sharing of folders with the host at runtime. And of course, right now, the Windows Sandbox app will be updated via the Microsoft Store. Just make sure to enable it from Windows Features and then restart your computer. You should have the new Windows Sandbox client app. Microsoft also fixed an issue where you couldn't view some parts of the UI when you ran certain apps. They also fixed an issue related to HTML applications. HTA optional components are now in ARM64 Windows P. They also fixed win32k-based assist where it created live kernel debug files when it shouldn't. They also fixed a stop error that occurred during shutdown. This update also adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. And also if you go into the CMD and then type in sfc space slash scan now,
now this command is now fixed in this build so that is good news because you would get errors every time you ran the command before Microsoft also fixed an error that was causing devices to have the issues running s 4 u 2 self to authenticate and they also fixed an issue where you could face errors using direct access after a clean install or an in-place upgrade to Windows 11 version 24h2 of course in this build we're also getting the Windows 11 servicing stack update which ensures that you have a robust and reliable servicing stack so that your Windows operating system can receive and install Microsoft updates we only have one known issue left in this build and Microsoft is aware of an issue where players on ARM devices are unable to download and play Roblox via the Microsoft Store on Windows this will be fixed in a future build so this is the latest update for 24h2 on the main release a lot of fixes a lot of improvements so I think this is a great new update for the main release users for more information please don't forget to check out the article below or the official Microsoft website if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Manu from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.